Welcome back to Mrs. Rundown, in today's video I am going to be recapping the events of Spider-Man 3, a 2007 action-slash-adventure film. Spoilers ahead. You have been warned. Now like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. Peter Parker plans to propose to Mary Jane Watson, who has made her Broadway musical debut. In Central Park, a meteorite lands near the two, and an extraterrestrial symbiote follows Peter to his apartment by attaching to his motorbike. Harry Osborn, knowing Peter is Spider-Man, seeks to avenge his father's death. Using his father's performance-enhancing gas and Green Goblin technology, he battles Peter to an eventual stalemate, developing partial amnesia. Meanwhile, police pursue escaped convict Flint Marco, who visits his wife and sick daughter before fleeing. Falling into an experimental particle accelerator that fuses his body with the surrounding sand, he gains the ability to control and reform his body with sand, becoming Sandman. During a festival honoring Spider-Man for saving Gwen Stacy's life, Peter kisses her to please the crowd, angering Mary Jane. Marco then robs an armored truck and escapes after defeating Spider-Man. NYPD Captain George Stacy, Gwen's father, informs Peter and his Aunt May that Marco is Uncle Ben's true killer. The deceased Dennis Carradine was Marco's accomplice. At his apartment, as Peter sleeps in his Spider-Man suit while waiting for Marco to come out of hiding, the symbiote assimilates the suit. Peter awakens on top of a building, discovering that the symbiote has colored his suit black and enhanced his powers, however, it also brings out darker parts of his personality. Spider-Man locates and battles Marco in a subway tunnel. Discovering that water is Sandman's weakness, he opens a pipe, releasing water that reduces Marco to mud and washes him away. Peter's changed comportment alienates Mary Jane, who also received negative reviews from critics. She shares a tender moment with Harry but leaves in regret. Urged by a hallucination of his father, Harry recovers from his amnesia and forces Mary Jane to break up with Peter. Harry later meets up with Peter and tells him that Mary Jane loves him. Under the influence of the symbiote, Peter confronts Harry and spitefully claims that his father never loved him. As Peter leaves after an ensuing fight, Harry throws a pumpkin bomb at him. Peter deflects it back, disfiguring Harry's face. At the Daily Bugle, Peter exposes rival photographer Eddie Brock, whose fake photos incriminate Spider-Man. Publisher J. Jonah Jameson fires Brock and promotes Peter to staff photographer. Later, Peter brings Gwen to a jazz club where Mary Jane now works. In an attempt to make her jealous, Peter interrupts Mary Jane's performance and dances with Gwen in front of her. Gwen, realizing this, apologizes to Mary Jane and leaves. After assaulting the bouncers and accidentally hitting Mary Jane, Peter realizes that the symbiote is corrupting him. Retreating to a church's bell tower and realizing the sounds of clanging metal weaken the creature, Peter removes the symbiote. Brock, who is at the same church, becomes the symbiote's new host. As Venom, Brock locates a still-living Marco and convinces him to join forces to kill Spider-Man. Brock abducts Mary Jane and holds her captive from a web at a construction site, intending to kill her in revenge for Peter ruining him while Marco keeps the police at bay. After Harry declines to help Peter, Harry's butler reveals that Norman's death was not Spider-Man's fault. While Brock and Marco pin Peter down, Harry arrives to help Peter and save Mary Jane. Brock attempts to impale Peter with Harry's glider, but Harry jumps in and is impaled instead. Peter, remembering the symbiote's weakness, assembles a perimeter of metal pipes to create a sonic attack, weakening it and allowing Peter to separate Brock from the symbiote. Peter activates a pumpkin bomb and throws it at the hostless symbiote. Brock, having become addicted to its influence, attempts to save the symbiote, and both are vaporized. Marco explains that Ben's death was an accident that has haunted him and that everything he has done was to help his daughter. Peter forgives Marco, allowing him to escape. Harry and Peter reconcile before Harry dies from his injuries. After Harry's funeral, Peter visits Mary Jane at the jazz club. They embrace and share a dance. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these movie summaries. It really helps the channel out.